When one thinks of ethics, you usually think of the moral virtues of compassion and integrity and honesty. Philosophers for thousands and thousands of years have tried to come up with a perfect moral theory of living ethically that is applicable in all situations. They have failed at this. However, I think that one rule that most people would say they live by is the golden rule of treating others as they would want to be treated. It's ironic, though, when you take a deeper, deeper look at these same people because they make unethical purchases day in and day out. Uh, in agriculture, Monsanto owns 90% of the genetically modified uh, seed production in, in the world. And this monopoly has created um, its empire by patenting their, their genetically modified seeds and planting next to local farmers. And then when those seeds blow into the other fields, um, they sue the farmers for stealing the patent. And they not only make money from the lawsuits, but they get the farmer's land and um, have a greater amount of their seeds produced. If you look at the meat industry, uh, workers hitting animals and livestock with pitchforks if they're not moving and confining them to cages that they can't even turn around in and genetically modifying them so that uh, chickens, for instance, can't even stand up on their own two feet because they're growing too fast. And the chicks that are separated at birth into boys and girls, and the boys are thrown up into a grinder and killed immediately simply because they do not produce eggs. And then you think of the sweatshops and our, how our clothes are produced um, with possible child labor and most likely workers that are getting paid only a few dollars a week. Um, because most companies uh, are producing or making things uh, in a similar fashion, um, it's difficult to buy ethically nowadays. And my challenge is for companies to worry more about producing and making things ethically rather than creating a monopoly or making a huge amount of profit.